English Lesson 32. Welcome everyone. We're glad to see you again. Can everyone say hello? Hello. Hello. Let's get started with meditation. Ah, our meditation. So have a seat. Show me two fingers. Use them to find our heart center. Good. Our other hands open in our laps. Deep breath. <sighs> Very nice. Close your eyes. Try and relax your body. Relax your mind. Allow your energy to be focused at your heart center. Very good. Once we can feel our pulse here at our center, relax your other hand. You want to keep that feeling at your heart center. Become aware of your own breath. Aware of your own presence. Focused at our heart center. We are calm and relaxed. Nice job, everyone. We'll slowly open our eyes, come out of our meditation together, taking three deep breaths. Very good. One, two, and three. Very good. Nice work. All right, up on your feet, and we'll do the rest of our warm up together. What do we do first? Yep, stretch up towards the sky. Reach, reach for the sky. Good. We can lean, lean, whatever feels good. 
And then? Shake it out. Very good. Shake, shake. Shake it out. Or? Wiggle. Or wiggle. Very good. Show me how you can wiggle really fast. Fast. And now show me how you can wiggle really slow. Very good. Nice. Okay. And then what do we do? That's right. We stretch down towards our toes. Stretch, reach for your toes. And then, good, shake, shake, shake it out. Shake, shake, shake it out. Then what? Yeah, we spin around. How many times? Three times, that's right. But wait, first, I want you to spin this way as fast as you can on one foot. Carefully, good. And two, I want you to spin the other way, this way, as slow as you can on one foot. Yeah, take some balancing. Very good. Nice circles. Okay, and three, I want you to spin and jump. And jump. Very nice. All right, what did we do last? Yeah, we jump up and down. How many times? Three times. Good. One, I want you to jump as high as you can this way. You thought you knew. Good. Two, I want you to jump as high as you can back the other way. Very nice. And three, what do you think? Yeah, I want you to jump and spin. Very good. Ouch. Nice work, everyone. Have a seat. We'll get started. So we're going to go over today's date. All right. Remember today? Today. Yesterday. Yesterday. And tomorrow. Very good. All right. So today's date. Today. Today. Is Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Wednesday. Good. What color do we use for Wednesday? Green. Green. Very good. So today is Wednesday. All right. If today is Wednesday, yesterday, yesterday, yesterday was Tuesday. 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 Good. So Tuesday, 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 Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Thursday. Very good. So tomorrow will be. Thursday. 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 Good. So yesterday was Tuesday. What color do we use for Tuesday? Good. And tomorrow will be Thursday. What color do we use for orange. Thursday? Orange. Good. Orange is orange. Yesterday? Yesterday. Tuesday. Tuesday. Today? Today. Wednesday. Wednesday. Tomorrow? Tomorrow. Thursday. Thursday. All right, very good. What we want to do today in English is review our farm animals. Right. Animals. The animals that live on a farm. Yeah. So this, if you remember, is our farm. 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 There you go. Farm. 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 Good. The farm. Some animals. Did you get it? Okay. Some animals that live on the farm would be. Who remembers this? Booster. Yeah. Remember the boy chicken we call rooster. 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 Good. Cause very good. And the sound that the rooster makes. Very nice. I can't believe you remembered that. That was great. Who remembers the name of this animal? Very good. Pig. 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 And what sound does pig make? Wait, 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 wait. 
wait, wait. Very good. Pig on the farm. Good. Who remembers the name of this animal? Good. Wait. Wait till I ask for it. All right. Sheep. 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 And hey, listen, remember our shh. That's the sound. Sheep. Sheep. Good. It's not our choo choo. It's not cheap. Cheap. That's something else. This is sheep. Good. Sheep. Very nice. No cheap. Cheap is something else. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. What uh, what sound does a sheep make? Very good. <laughs> good. So who remembers the name of this animal? Very good. Hen. Remember we call our girl chickens hen. Good. Hen. Who remembers the sound that the hen makes? Or teep teep. Very good. All right, what about this animal? Cow. Very good. Cow. 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 And what sound does cow make? Ma. Good. Or moo. Very good. Very good. And our last one? Horse. Horse. And what sound does a horse make? Yeah. Good. Yeah, or <laughs> Very good. So these are all animals that we can see on the farm. On the farm. Like old McDonald's farm, right? Good. I'm glad you like that song. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is actually story time. We haven't done a story time before. I have a book called The Fox and the Hen. It's about a very smart hen uh, that I'm gonna read aloud. So I want you guys to listen and get to look at the pictures. Uh, my class, you'll come sit here, okay? So up and sit. You guys listen and follow along. Share of a a farm. Yeah, a picture of a farm. Really cool. So I want to hear some of the things that you see. What you words we knew in English in the farm image, right? So what did we, a lot of the things we saw was duck, right? Hen. Hen. Dog. Dog. Cow. Cow. Pig. Sheep. Sheep. Yeah, mango. Tree. Tree. Very good. What else did we see? Uh, oh, yeah. Bird. Good. Tree. Girl. Boy. Boy. He's scary looking. And then, what was it? Oh. Home. Very good. And all this is on the. The farm. The farm. Good. The farm. Okay. Nice work. Okay. So now, and I, okay, that's fine. So now we're going to read a story. Yeah. What's this? Hen. A hen. Good. So the name of the story is The Sly Fox, Fox. and the Little Red Hen. Hen. Yeah. But. The sly fox and the little red hen. <laughs> All right. So make sure we look. We're looking at the pictures, and we're listening to Teacher Shelby. Okay. The sly fox and the little red hen. Once upon a time, there was a little red hen who lived in a house on a farm all by herself. To keep her house neat, 
clean and collect food for herself, she worked very hard throughout the day. <gasps> There's her home. Home hen. Home of the hen, all right. Not very far from the hen's home, there lived a sly fox with his wife in the den in the forest. <laughs> he does kind of look like a raccoon, but it's a fox. This sly fox and winds, wait. Okay, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> when the sly fox saw the hen, he thought, this red hen must be very tender. I would love to cook her and eat her in my big pot. Big pot. My big pot. <laughs> yeah, there's the hen. He wants to eat her. One day, the sly fox picked up his big bag and said, I'm going to go catch that hen and we shall eat her for dinner. Have the pot very hot and boiling when I get home. <laughs> He says, goodbye, I'm gonna go catch the hen. All right, there she is. To pick up a few sticks for kindling to make a fire, the little red hen came out of her house. She did not see the fox hiding behind a tree. As soon as the red hen was out of sight, the sly fox slipped into her home to hide. He hid behind a tree and eagerly, whoa, <laughs> and eagerly waited for her to come back. Hmm. Here we go. After some time, the sly fox quietly went into the red hen's home. The little red hen, when returned with a basket of sticks, went inside her home and turn the lock on the door. Oh, she said when she saw the fox and his big bag open, ready to catch her. The little red hen was very frightened. She dropped her basket of sticks and flew up to the ceiling. <laughs> you are a fox, she said, and you are really sly but you will not be able to catch me as hard as you try. How long can you keep hanging up there on the ceiling, said the fox. Though he knew it would not be easy to catch the little hen as she was too smart and too careful. I will catch you, said the fox, and he ran around and around. Mm -hmm. The red hen watched as the fox did all this and thought, he will go away when he is tired. The sly fox twirled around faster and faster, chasing his own tail. The red hen intently kept watching the sly fox from up above at the ceiling, and she did not understand what he was doing. The poor little red hen soon became very dizzy. No. And she could not keep her balance on the beam in the ceiling anymore. She fell down, and the sly fox was ready with his big bag. Right? So she fell down, and he caught her. Right? Yeah. Oh, no. The fox slung the bag over his shoulder and started to go home. <coughs> The exercise at the hen's house made him really sleepy. So he decided to keep the bag next to him and sat down to rest. He was very soon fast asleep. 
the red hen's dizziness inside the bag began to go away. She somehow managed to open the bag and poked her head out so she could see. She was surprised to see that the fox was asleep. The little red hen picked up a few heavy rocks and quickly put them into the bag so the fox would think she was still in there. Then she ran all the way home as fast as she could. The sly fox woke up from his nap and without knowing what happened, picked up his bag and headed home. Yes, yes, he said to, oh, sorry. As soon as he got home, his wife called out, do you have the little red hen for us to eat? And he said, yes, yes I do. Is the water in the pot hot? I have the hen right here. So the sly fox opened his bag and poured it into the cooking pot. But what fell out was rocks, no hen. The boiling water splashed all over them. Ouch. The little red hen reached her home at this time. She did not see the fox again, and she lived happily in peace ever after in her sweet little red hen home. The end. Yay! Very good. Okay, good job everyone. Back to our seats. Thank you for listening. Okay, very good. That's gonna wrap up our section on farm animals. Yeah. Farm animals, yeah. So today, our new vocabulary is gonna be about more animals, but animals at a place we call the zoo. Zoo. Yeah, that's a new word. Let me hear you say it. Zoo. 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 It, it's a Z. Z. Zoo. 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 Good. The zoo. The zoo is a place where we can go with our family or with our friends from school to see wild animals. Get to see a lot of really cool animals. So we're going to learn six basic zoo animals, and I want to introduce them to you in a PowerPoint. So please stop doing that, and please pay attention to the TV. We'll go through it together. Very nice. All right, I heard some of you calling out some animals that we see and we recognize, right? We know some of these words. I see a snake, right? A bird. Oh, a dog? No, no dog. <gasps> Monkey. Good. So a zoo. A zoo is a place where we can go and see many, many beautiful wild animals. All right. Let's learn the names in English of some of the main ones. What about this? I think most of you know it. <laughs> it's not. I think that maybe you just need a closer look at the picture. Yeah, what is it to you? It's a lion. Good. Does it look like a horse over there? I can kind of see that. Okay. But this, my friends, is a lion. A lion. 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 Good. We see lions at the zoo. We can see them at the zoo. Lion. Lion. What a sound does the lion make? Yeah. <sighs> Roar. Right? He's loud. Lion. Good. And with big teeth. Yeah. Lion. All right. Well, this one. Monkey. Yeah, very good. This is a picture of a monkey. 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 Good. We see monkeys at the zoo. At the zoo. We can go to the zoo and see monkeys. Yeah, see them climb on stuff. 
So let me hear what sound does a monkey make? Yep, yep, I like that. Or, ooh, ooh, ah, uh, ah, uh. right? Ooh, ooh, ah, uh, ah, uh. Very good. Monkey. Monkey. This is a picture of an elephant. 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 Good, good. I know it, it starts with the E, right? No. But we don't, no, we don't e. say, yeah, we don't say elephant. 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 Good. What, what sound does the elephant make? <laughs> well, it's kind of hard. It's like, <laughs> I don't really know. It's good. I like the noises. Very good. Elephant. We can see an elephant at the zoo. It's not the only place, but we can see elephants at the zoo. Horse. Yeah. This is a type of horse, yes. But when we see the stripes, right? The stripes. Oh, baby. Oh, my God. See these stripes that they have? Black and white stripes. When we see black and white on a horse like that, its name is zebra. 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 Yeah, it's a, it's a Z. Zebra. 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 Yeah. So when we see a horse with black and white stripes, it's a zebra. Zebra. It's different, different than a horse, right? We can see zebras at the zoo, too. We can go to the zoo and see zebras. <clears throat> Very good. What about this one? Tiger. This is a picture of a tiger. 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 Good. What sound does tiger make? <laughs> oh, very good. <laughs> Big cat, right? Tiger. Yeah. Big teeth, too. Tiger. We can go to the zoo to see a tiger, too. See, he's at the zoo now in a cage. Poor guy. Tiger. That's me. All right, so that's right, I heard it. This, my friends, is a picture of a giraffe. 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 Good, giraffe. Good. giraffe. They have very long necks, right? They're really, really tall. Yeah. yeah, that's me. I'm feeding the giraffe a banana. Yeah, giraffe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, that's me. Giraffe. Giraffe. So what, what noise can we say that a giraffe makes? I really don't know. Yeah, it's got a really long neck. Let's, for giraffe, let's make the noise of them eating, right? Because they eat off trees and bananas. So for giraffe, let's say, right? So they don't really make a noise. For this class, we're going to use giraffe noise as We'll just make the noise of them eating, okay? Zoo animals. That's going to be our next focus here in English. Zoo. Zoo. Zoo animals. Good. So, all right, we're going to practice the animals we just learned using our flashcards, all right? I'll start with one that I know you guys know. Lion. Very good. Lion. 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 Good. Lion. Lion. No. No lion. 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 Yeah. Lion. Lion. And let me hear your lion sound. Very good. Let me hear it. Okay. Very good. All right. 
I want to do another one, you guys know. All right, and this animal is called what? Elephant. Elephant. Very good. Elephant. 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 What sound does the elephant make? Elephant. Yeah, it's kind of like a. <laughs> Good. Elephant. All right. What animal is this? Monkey. Very good. Monkey. 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 All right. Let me hear your best monkey. Let me hear. Very good. Monkey sounds. Good. All right. What animal is this? Lion. Not a lion, uh, but a uh, tiger. Very good, Nanya. Yeah. Tiger. 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 We always remember tiger because he's orange. Tiger. Tiger. Let me hear your best tiger noise. Rawr. Let's focus on this. All right. What animal is this? Tiger. 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 So let me hear your best tiger noise. Yeah. Very good. Tiger. Wait for the picture. Very good. Giraffe. 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 And we said for the sound, we were going to do them eating. Good. That's right. They, exactly. They reach with their neck to eat. Very good. <laughs> yeah, I was acting like a giraffe. All right, last one. Zebra. 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 Good. Good. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to practice our zoo animals by playing a game. Yay! Yay! So the game's going to work uh, as follows. We're going to use your flashcards. We're going to sit in a circle and pass them around. So let's say teacher Shelby starts with Elephant. elephant. Right. So I look at my card, I say, elephant. I make the noise. And then I pass it to my neighbor. Right. The next person says, elephant. And then pass it. All right. So what we're going to do is card by card, pass it around. Everyone needs to say the word and make the sound, all right? And then we're finished, we'll do it with another card, okay? So, I want you guys to practice in your room using the flashcards, and then join us back here when you are finished. Okay, my class, stand, and let go. Good. All right, we'll do it first to practice, and then we're gonna see how fast we can do it. All right, so first, Lion. Rawr. Lion. Good. Lion. Good. Lion. That was a weak lion roar. All right, good. Good. Lion. Rawr. Okay. There you go. Good. Good. Lion roar. Good. Here's our next one. What's this? Monkey. Good. Monkey. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Monkey. Ooh, ooh, ah. <laughs> Monkey. Ooh, ooh, ah. Ooh, very good. Ah, ah. Very good. <laughs> you got to say the word. You got to say monkey. Monkey. <laughs> that was wild monkey. Hmm. Sorry, boy. 
Yeah, silly. Okay. Ready? What animal is this? Tiger. Yeah. No lion. Tiger. All right. So teacher Shelby says, tiger. Tiger. Right? So teacher Shelby says, giraffe. 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 Good. Giraffe. Good. Very good. Giraffe. Giraffe. Thank you. Good. Giraffe. Good. Giraffe. Giraffe. Good. So, and the noise the zebra makes is gonna be the same as the horse, right? Like, hee! Hee! So, zebra, hee! Oh, hee! Zebra, hee! Okay. Very good. Zebra, hee! Hee! Good. Very good. Good. Zebra, hee! Very nice. Welcome back, and nice work, everyone. That's a fun game. So the last thing we're gonna do for this lesson is sing a song, yay, about zoo animals, all right? So I'll demonstrate first, because it's a new song for us. So just listen, and I'll show you how it's gonna sound. It's gonna sound like this. We're gonna say, zoo, zoo, who's in the zoo? Zoo, zoo, who's in the zoo? Zoo. Zoo, who's in the zoo? The zoo for us to see, right? And then we use a flash card. And teacher Shelby says, what does the lion say? And you make the noise. Good. What does the lion say? What does the lion say? And the zoo for us to see, okay? So we're gonna sing like that throughout the different flashcards. All right, so once you remember the words, sing with me, and then if not, you're gonna be in charge of the animal sounds. All right, so let's play with zoo, zoo, who's in the zoo? Zoo, zoo, who's in the zoo? Zoo, zoo, who's in the zoo? The zoo for us to see. Monkey, good. What does the monkey say? What does the monkey say? What does the monkey say? And the zoo for us to see. Very good. Zoo, zoo, who's in the zoo? Zoo, zoo, who's in the zoo? Zoo, zoo, who's in the zoo? And the zoo for us to see. Tiger. Yeah, tiger. What does the tiger say? Good. What does the tiger say? What does the tiger say? In the zoo for us to see. Very good. Zoo, zoo. Who's in the zoo? Zoo, zoo, who's in the zoo? Zoo, zoo, who's in the zoo? In the zoo for us to see. Giraffe. Giraffe, good. What does the giraffe say? What does the giraffe say? What does the giraffe say? In the zoo for us to see. Zoo, zoo, who's in the zoo? Zoo, zoo, who's in the zoo? Zoo, zoo, who's in the zoo? In the zoo for us to see. Zebra. 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 Good. What does the zebra say? Good, just like a horse. What does the zebra say? 
What does the zebra say? <laughs> and the zoo for us to see. Very good. Zoo, zoo. Who's in the zoo? Zoo, zoo. Who's in the zoo? Zoo, zoo. Who's in the zoo? In the zoo for us to see. Good. What does the elephant say? Very good. What does the elephant say? What does the elephant say? In the zoo for us to see. One more time. Zoo, zoo. Who's in the zoo? Zoo, zoo. Who's in the zoo? Zoo, zoo. Who's in the zoo? In the zoo for us to see. Good. What does the lion say? What does the lion say? What does the lion say? In the zoo for us to see. Yay, very good. Pretty good for your first time. Nice job. All right, nice work, everyone. That's gonna be our last activity for this lesson. Thanks for spending time with us, learning about zoo animals. Good. Can everyone say goodbye? Goodbye. Goodbye. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.